how to add a PDF viewer to your framer project. Hey everyone and welcome. I hope you're all doing great. In this video, I will show you step by step all you need to do in order to add a PDF viewer to your project in framer. So it's not going to be a built in future from framer. We are actually going to be using a third party application to make this work. So the first thing is going to be uh, opening up your project that you want to add the PDF viewer to. In my case, I'm just going to use this example one. And also in my case, um, I'm actually going to create a new page for it. So let's just go and create a new page and name it PDF like so. Okay, so now that we have a page, so a place where we can add the element that we want. Now, all you need to do is just go in and open up a new browser tab, because like I said, it's not something that is built in with Framer. So we can just go in and open up a new browser tab. And from here, you basically want to search for elfsite.com. Like so, and just go ahead and hit enter. Now, from here, you can just go ahead and create your account for free. Just add your email in here and just click on start and you should be ready to go now uh, it is going to be for free as long as you have 200 views and you use one widget i mean one instance of each widget basically uh, so at least one uh, pdf viewer if you want more then you may need to upgrade so just go ahead and enter your account uh, email and just click on start and you create your account basically in my case i already have one so i'm just going to open it up from here, you basically want to click on catalog and search for the proper one, which is going to be PDF embed, which is right over here. So PDF embed, click on that one, and then you will find different templates to choose from. I highly suggest that you go for the first one. It's going to be the best one if you want it to be a viewer, much like this one. So just go ahead and click on continue with this template. But if you feel like, you know, you want to lean on a different template, you can also feel free to go for any of them. So click on continue with this template. And then from here, you basically want to just give it a title. I'm just going to name it PDF viewer. And then the files, it should have the sample PDF file. You may want to remove this and click on add file, add upload. And then you would want to upload the file that you want to showcase. Give it a name. And then you will find a preview for your PDF viewer. So it's going to look a little something like this. Just let it load for a little bit and I will show you. Okay, so it's going to look a little something like this. So now that we have all of this ready to go, we can just click on publish on the top right. And it may show you this, which is changes were published, or it actually may take you to the plans section where you can feel free to just go ahead and uh, compare all of them uh, and move on. So once you compare them, you can just go and click on the right plan and they will give you the uh, code that you need to embed. But if not, like in my case right now, you just go back to my apps, click on PDF embed, and then you will find this one right here. Click on install and you can actually see we have the proper code for it. So just go ahead and copy the code, which is the HTML code. And now we can just go ahead and go back to uh, our framer here. So we can just go back to framer uh, and in here, you basically want to click on insert on the top left, and we just want to go to um, utility, I believe, yes, and we will find the embed section. Click on that, or actually, even better, you may want to drag and drop it, so we don't have to deal with that. Uh, you can feel free to resize it to your liking, and we can just basically now um, add the code to it. So you can just double click on it, make sure the type is HTML, and you want to paste in the code. And it should actually, uh, once you hit enter, it should actually create the PDF viewer here for us. You can move it everywhere or anywhere they actually want. Uh, you can resize it to your liking and move it around. Uh, and just give it a little bit of time. It's actually going to show us how it's going to look like exactly. Like so. So yeah, this is all for this video. Hopefully you found it to be helpful. And thanks for watching.